So on to my second favorite way to tap a keg. With this sort of setup, you have a few parts that you need to get. So here you have the CO2 bottle with some paper gaskets. You need to make sure that these paper gaskets get installed between uh, the nut and the gas bottle and that you snug this down with a wrench. Then the next thing we have is the pressure gauge. In this case, we have a dual gauge pressure gauge, but you can easily use a single one. It's a little bit cheaper. You have the gas valve right here, and this is the off position. The on position is in line with the vinyl tubing. We have some 5 16 vinyl tubing, Sankey D-type coupler, and the party faucet. All these parts are readily available. You can get them on Amazon or Micromatic. The CO2 bottle can be rented at the same place that you would buy your kegs most of the time. I put some links in the description to this video. So let me talk to you a little bit about how to tap using this rig. It's the same exact method as the previous one where you have the lever. In this case, it's, it's down, but you wanna put it up so that the probe goes up within the coupler and then attach it the same way to your, to your keg. Make sure you have a nice, good, firm grip on the handle and twist until it seats in there. And then once you're ready and your keg is nice and cold, again, whether you have air or CO2 on it, it doesn't change how foamy it's gonna be. It really has to do with how cold you get the keg. And they're all designed for around 36 degrees. So keep that in mind. Once it's ice cold and ready to go, depress your lever, and then we can use our party faucet and and fill up your beer. This is gonna dramatically increase the shelf life on your beer and avoid those spoiling flavors that are common with air pumps. Uh, a note about the couplers. If you're buying a keg from your local brewery, 99.5% of the time, it's gonna be this type of coupler. It's called a Sankey D-type coupler. If you are trying to have a Guinness keg or something from Germany or Europe, it's likely they'll use a different style. So again, you have the CO2 bottle, the pressure gauge, a little bit of vinyl tubing, the coupler, and the party faucet. Hi, I'm Joe Vogelbacher from Sugar Creek Brewery in Charlotte, North Carolina, and the 19th Master Cicerone in the world. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos, and if you have future ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Cheers.